to be honest, P Diddy, thank you. Thank you for the content because, bruh. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. But leave it in the comment section what you guys think. Do you think Meek Mill, P Diddy, Usher, and Chris Brown were all having like a foursome and eating their booties out? I don't even know. I've never thought of so many gay people in one room doing all of that. That's that's too much. It's too much for my imagination. Okay, so we got the black FBI on this case. Meek Mill is a closeted homosexual, allegedly. <laughs> now, I just want to say before this video starts, I have nothing against the fruity community. Uh, I'm not a fruitcake myself, but, uh, you know, um, have never dabbled in it. Will never do that. But, uh, yeah, I have all the respect for <laughs> the fruity community. I just want to... Put that out there this is not a video to attack meek mill it's just you know we're we're gonna get these jokes off so, so they already know that i'm dropping the tea mm. so let's get right into it child i don't even know where to begin but let me start by saying this meek if you ever run into this video please for the love of christ delete your twitter page bro like yeah, now it's time matter of fact delete it yesterday because baby what are you doing his twitter fingers that made him expose himself after the following allegations not once not twice, but three times and probably counting. So delete it while you're ahead or let somebody else manage it. But let's get into these allegations. As many of you may have heard, Meek Mill's name, or likeness rather, was named in Diddy's court documents. In a 73-page actual complaint, it says... You know what's so crazy about this whole thing is like, Meek Mill is one of the names which were alleged. We have to look at Usher and then also Chris Brown. But no one is attacking Chris Brown. No one is attacking Usher because they seem a little fruity. You know, if you look at Usher, the dancing and the grabbing his crotch and all of that, that's that's a bit fruity. Uh, Chris Brown, I don't know if he's so fruity, but he, he seems a little fruity. Not a lot. I would say maybe what a, a good 10% fruitcake in him. But Meek Mill, he seemed like the guy which you would never even imagine him doing anything like this. So it's it's shocking. It's breaking news. Uh, <laughs> I just I just have to put that out there. That Diddy was screwing an unnamed rapper, an unnamed male rapper. Mr. Combs engaged in intercourse with rapper five that's redacted. And then it goes to describe this said unknown rapper as a Philadelphia rapper ah. who dated Nicki Minaj. Ooh. So there you have it. It's none other than Meek, cause well, he's the only rapper from mm. Philly who dated Nicki. Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. And also looks like he had something strange going on with Diddy when you look closer. Cause like, first of all, why would two grown men be out wearing matching outfits like a couple, huh? Oh. Okay, to play a little devil's advocate. Haven't you ever been with your friend and you guys are just like having a lot of fun and you're like, hey, let's, let's match today, you know? Maybe like, I don't know about that, but I'm just saying that, I mean, you've had the same clothes as your friends, right? Like same t-shirt, not like similar, similar like that, like let's go out, let's match. But it could have probably been just like an, a coincidence or an accident. Maybe they went to the same party and they were shopping at the same store. And then they found it funny, them just like, oh, hey, check it out. Because they say that when when you're in love with somebody then you mimic them you start to like kind of like clone their language so yeah this could be also one of those things but i just want to replay a little <laughs> devil's advocate there and then why is diddy calling meek mill daddy and why is meek letting him you deserve it daddy wow, that was pretty weird look at that the midget's hand is holding, is it P Diddy's hand or is it Meek Mill's hand? It's a black hand. Man, that picture is a little sus. So, okay, yeah, that's the first sus picture. I gotta give it to them. Daddy, and why is Meek letting him? You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you, I love you. Okay, bro, this, I can't defend that. I can't, I can't defend Daddy, bro. I can't defend somebody calling another man Daddy. That, that one I can't defend, but... 
if I was Meek's lawyer, this one I can defend. The picture there, 100%. Going on. So those alone may prove a lot, but let's take a deeper look. And before we get into Meek's responses, basically denying these allegations the best way that he could, which is through his Twitter fingers, let's take a look at what those same Twitter fingers did, which seemingly proved that he's a fruitcake for real. Ooh. And these are not made up, they're not Photoshop. there are multiple screen recordings of all of the following, including the ones that I took and verified for myself, okay? So they are not fake. But imagine thinking that it was fake, trying to give Meek the benefit of the doubt, but he's really on Twitter digging himself in a bigger hole, which is why he needs to just delete his Twitter forever, okay? So someone posted the video of daddy calling him Diddy, excuse me, <laughs> of Diddy. <laughs> I know what she did there. He calling him daddy. You deserve it, daddy. And wrote Meek Mill cooling them cakes after all night of oh Bender God, crying bro, laughing. Bro, and that with one is wild, man. That one is wild. Objection, your honor. Perjuring the witness. Did you guess who liked it? Meek. As y'all uh, can see, he hit that like button on it and it's actually been in his likes for hours at the time of this video. That's what oh I'm saying. Oh my God, bro. Just delete it, okay? And now let's take a look at the next thing that's more damaging and there's no coming back from. Amidst these allegations, he followed gay adult content, got caught from all angles, screenshots, screen recordings, all that. So he quickly unfollowed, but it was too late. He keeps on denying it, even with these receipts against him that so many... Yeah, my client's phone was hacked that day. So this wasn't Meek Mill, which was in. Uh, it was one of the people which were running the account. So he was hacked. And saw live before he unfollowed. That is crazy. Now, even if he followed the page by mistake, right? Baby, <sighs> he's so Twitter fingery that he's trying to make sure that he's getting his promo for his new music while he's trending for the wrong thing, that he's retweeting folks who are on his side and talking about his music, that he doesn't even realize that some of them are trolling him. I'm talking trolling, okay? So this person tweeted that Meek is back with the trackless screenshot of his music, and Meek was so quick to retweet it that he didn't even realize that they added the gay adult content to the screenshots as one of his songs, which he not only retweeted once, but twice. Meek, delete your Twitter. Now, oh, I gotta Jesus. be honest. We gotta plead the fifth over there. Seeing that Meek retweeted that and like that, it makes you think that, dang, maybe he did follow that gay page by mistake and that yeah. he uses his Twitter finger so much that he don't even know what he be doing. And it just so happened to happen amidst the allegations of him sleeping with Diddy, allegedly. You deserve it, daddy. You gotta know that he was shocked to know that there are legal allegations that he has been letting Diddy hit. Chef. Daddy. Your Honor, we have to redact the video of Meek Mill at the pool uh the music was too loud so we gotta redact that one that one cannot be shown as evidence in this case god meek come on he was like who me send me the court documents where's the receipts so as much as i was believing that maybe the bull is gay i'm starting to feel like he's just a lost puppy that's been moving wrong on twitter and he yeah that's what i think as well all jokes aside i think he's just like a stu like He's just not technical. I've had friends like this, which, you know, they, they don't really understand social media. They're not like super technical. So they do these like small mistakes, nothing homosexual, nothing fruitcakey. But uh, yeah, they do some mistakes. You know, they maybe post the wrong pictures, maybe screenshots and so forth. So yeah, it has happened that people have posted like even you know, naked pictures of themselves on Twitter or on X. So, yeah, I think that that's what's happening here with Meek Mill. He's management to take over his page immediately. I don't know, but now let's take a look at some of his responses to these allegations. He wrote, the two things they say, we snitching or we gay. We generating hundreds of millions from music is not a coincidence we all gay and snitches. They are powering this stuff even if it's fake. Okay, the I don't think he's generating hundreds of millions on music goal is to disrupt the hip-hop community he also said y'all see these rappers with gay styles they want that look i leave that to them i come from that gangster-ish surviving the jungle boy what are you talking about it looks more like you got the step never mind um i'm independent they know i dropped tomorrow trying to damage control where i'm from people die for playing with the man's name um they got a damage control they know i dropped tomorrow blah 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 BA ninjas ain't gonna play no games with me. They're trying to damage control. The same thing. They almost tricked y'all with little baby. Now, why you got a name drop? Then he going in on academics. Academics and alcoholic. Fully powered by the white man. 
who you think posting that on every website they be so mad they can't stop it's few groups lol what are you talking about um low-key academics is a hater he wants his addy is saying that you and diddy were fornicating what <laughs> he said i'm from philly i don't do coke or freaky ass molly nobody won't even offer me coke because i'm that Damn. heavy no man or what would ever approach me about no gay activity and the whole place don't get flipped woke up seeing this on every blog like they know i'm coming lol that's why i always come around all these industry ninjas with my you see during the drake and meek mill beef i stood behind meek mill and uh, this is disappointing if i'm being honest it is disappointing because it's not the fact that we hate meek and 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 or that we hate p diddy it's the fact that they're not honest about it so p diddy was having sex with meek mill and usher <laughs> tate is also brought tate tate bra you should stay out of this one i don't even know what, where tate is coming from bra that's crazy bra that is wild real friends you never catch me around anybody from the industry alone you can't even hold a conversation without my dog stepping in the room it's been that way i can't tell y'all find out i'm the illest in this ish and somebody sent me the actual lawsuit. These blocks yeah, making Yeah, but the only question which we have right now is, is Meek the bottom or is Diddy the bottom? To me, it kind of sounds like Diddy's the bottom because he's he's calling Meek daddy. So I don't know about that. You know, I he's maybe the bottom, but who knows? Leave it in the comment section. Who do you guys think is the bottom? All stupid day by day don't follow the heathens i was having a nice sleep chilling in a mansion i wake up to this weirdo stuff redact the this picture as well redact that one from the case they dropping hate campaign oh my god meek i'm Let's trying to defend you meek but bruh it's not looking good for you my guy you be doing some sus shit Bro, you got all the rainbows in your cake, my guy. Find a real lawsuit to make sure it's more computer generated. Daddy. It's oh. obvious I'm doing indecent. Y'all gonna see a lot of bad press about me. I think he meant it's obvious I'm going independent. Y'all gonna see a lot of bad press about me. He's swearing that it's fake. You know what I'm saying? Because I guess he ain't see the lawsuit at that point of him tweeting. He ain't know it was real. What else? The F these internet ninjas be on. I would trash any celebrity if they tried wild move on me. No pics. Literally go crazy on them. That is all. I'm from Philly, ninja. If you just hang around people which are fruitcakes, bro, you, within maybe an hour, you notice like, okay, this guy's a little too zesty for me. And then just always watch me around this wild ass industry. I mean, but when Diddy called you daddy, you ain't do nothing. You deserve it, daddy. Never mind. Let's continue. They don't want y'all streaming this independent music. Make sure you support this, that real ish, not that clout, heathenism ish. He wrote, <laughs> YouTube creators target black celebrities with AI made fake news. We have too much intelligence. We have too much influence, boy. Listen, the lawsuit you thought it was fake and it's real. That's that, people not making it up. They're going off of a real lawsuit. Now, maybe the person who made the lawsuit is lying. But the news about it is not a lie. Oh my god, Bye, that's Let's crazy. <laughs> Every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions. They are designed to destroy the image of black. I think you could just end this conversation, Meek, with just saying that you did not do it. P. Diddy did not lick my booty hole. Like, just come out with that. Just come out with that. And guys, honestly, I might come out with a video soon because I need some money, bruh. I, I need some cash. So I might just make up something about P. Diddy as well just to throw my name in the in the list. Because, bruh, right now, bruh, if you just come out with a story about P. Diddy that he touched your booty, bruh, you can get, like, just out of a settlement, you could probably get three million black leaders it can't work with me you gotta really ill me and i still will get bigger after listen boy it's not even that deep i understand why he's mad though because it's killing his image but it's like you got some explaining to do make what you've been doing make sense you deserve it daddy anyways as y'all can see he's copping please and this is a good one right here he said when i got a girl around me i'm effing her twice a day oh lol ask some of y'all favorites punani don't control me but it's like a high 
one love to the gay people, but that juicy punani do it for me. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. This why even tweet this? Just fake news. Just be like Trump. I don't understand. Just deny, 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 deny until the end. Deny it. <laughs> deny it. Maybe P Diddy might pay him off. Deny it. I do not understand why he's doing all of this. This just makes him look guilty. No. Why are you? Are you really that upset with the Meek Mill thing, bro? <laughs> bro, is it really that serious? No, I ain't gonna lie, man. I was Josh, watching my man. I was it's watching. Not, listen, listen. And I'm not. I'm not mad really about the allegation. I'm just mad. <laughs> I gotta go through another year of slander <laughs> dealing with this bullshit, bro. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> wait. Your race is that your favorite rapper for real? Like, okay. <laughs> He was my favorite rapper like 2014, 2015, 2016, you know, opinions are, you grow, you, you get other rappers in your life and what? shit. Um, so like, I got, I got a special attachment to me type shit. You feel me? I got just an attachment. Type, you feel me? And it's, it's tough. It's kind of like the same attachment which Puff has for Meek. Josh, hey, Josh, oh. why, Josh, what is your thoughts on why he didn't just address it and make mm. a tweet and say Listen, it? It, 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 <laughs> it's not as deep as you think. He just <laughs> not. <laughs> hey, it's just, it, hey, he just don't like that. When it comes to the internet, he's not that smart, bro. That's no, just no, no. what it is. Hey, hey, he yo, Aiden, to to what your bro. rage yeah. is struggling to explain right now is that if you've been a real Meek Mill fan for the last 10 years, you've been having these moments where you're trying to explain why he did the dumbest shit mm. like and, and it's usually you're like well they're like why did he do why did he do the obvious smart shit and mm. you're you're kind of trying to explain it without throwing him under the bus mm. this is a man who's fed up he's tried to explain every bullshit <laughs> from yo i saw him on every one of my posts you know he was just trying to say meek act forget what he yo, got going on Josh, just say Josh, just say it <laughs> Josh, you were under every tweet, like, Bray showing oh, him, cause All he had to say was, this shit's cat. They, they <laughs> okay, Josh, <laughs> he didn't do that. Do you think, do you think it's No, true? no, <laughs> no. He just not, he don't know what the, look, he's an old head. He opens the internet. He, the first thing he sees is act and his the act name and, and gay allegations. So he just, he just crashes out. He act don't even think it. Right, act, it's true. Act, no, act, no, act, 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 ask him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. True, that could be true. That could be true. It could be that he's he's just so illiterate that he's he's not really technical. As I said before, he's not a technical dude. So he logs on, he sees something. Oh, this person posted this, and then he's just like, "What?" Hold on, you think it's true? I literally said I don't think. But hold on, hold on, yo, do you really, yo? He can't be that old, bro. Like, come on, dog. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. My I, mama know how to work I, Twitter better than that. I, I swear. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I've been talking. To, I'm, I'm, I've been talking to a few people who genuinely just they don't like. They are not in tune with his internet shit. Bro. Josh, Josh, let me ask you a question. I was lost. Oh, you, you do, but I don't think he gets that. He doesn't get that, bro. Wait, hold on. Are you really here sitting? Are we sitting here saying, yo, Meek is, yo, you know Meek is older than both of us. Yo, <sighs> Meek, yo, he's been in this game longer than both of us. You're telling me that Meek just don't know the internet, that he yo. doesn't understand that people. Something is not clicking, bro. Like something is not click. I saw something just, that he doesn't get it, bro. He think like people out to get him. This and the third. Yo, like, I don't even think he read the document. He just seen your name, gay. Mm. He said, "This nigga." <laughs> Yo, hold on. I didn't even get to this part. Yo, Meek said the entire thing was AI generated. <laughs> Yo, bro. Wait, listen, listen, listen. listen. Yo, yo, That's come how, on. Listen, listen, listen. That's how crazy it is to him, though. Imagine you wake up to a gay. You don't think it's like AI because that's how crazy because that's imagine you wake up you're trending that day Just like Bobby All your nudes are out then you're just like what what those are what that's AI generated I think like a lot of people are gonna start using that excuse now that a lot of things are AI generated That's how out of this world it is bro. Mm -hmm. It gotta be AI. You're yeah. raised. He said Chat GPT created a chaos. Yo, come, yo, yo, Rage, come on now. Are, are you literally like, no, 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 I'm not, I, I get, I, I get your demeanor towards it, but, but, but at a certain point, are you, aren't you saying, bro, you can't be this dumb. Like, come on now, bro. I, I he said it was dumb, AI man. generated. Yo, he said it was computers. Bro, the nigga was talking about like, this was like, like Decepticons and Autobots. Oh, he said, yo, it was God. computers trying to stop him. 
And here was his remedy. He says he was. Have you guys noticed something? I noticed that academic has like a symbiosis with Meek Mill. Like every time he goes after Meek, bro, he gets crazy views. Crazy. Look, look, listen, I can't put myself in another person's brain. Maybe he's been through so much shit in real life with people out to get him and shit. He just got PTSD even when it comes to this internet shit. Yo, mm. niggas gotta be out to get me. Like, I don't, I don't, I can't put myself in his brain. I don't know what he, what his brain is going through when it comes to this. But I don't think he lying. I don't think he, he out here fucking Bro. Diddy in the booty hole. No, no, no. Okay. But, but, but that's not the problem where everybody's talking about. To be honest, I was just like, yo, it's a little weird that you just didn't respond. But okay, cool. Now that you've responded. He, no, no, no. He did. He just also said a bunch of other irrelevant shit. Nah, nah, nah. He responded too late. Like, it took him like a good, like, 36 hours to be like, oh, yeah, I'm not gay. What's no, 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 no. That's like the first five tweets. He said, he, he, he said his cat type shit, basically. No, he said, I'm from Philly. What, is, what the f does that mean? Oh, yo, he it's said, like, I'm he was like, Philly. yo. We don't, we don't do that shit. Like, we don't play like that, bro. I know he hella said. gay niggas from Philly. I'm sorry to tell you. All right, bro. <laughs> I mean, you know hella gay gangster niggas from Philly? <laughs> yo. No, no. Yo. Will Smith. Yo, Rage, you got to let go. Allegedly. Of like, I know you're going to be like, nah, he just don't. Yo, maybe whatever image you had of Meek is just not him. I'm not saying he's gay, but bro, you can't be this dumb. We gon' we gonna have you see you see this is why I know you've been stressed out being a real Meek fan. What was your explanation when he tweeted out, "Yo, I need a link for some vibrating panties." Listen, listen, listen. He's Hold see, on. That's another thing that been, what it, about when his Amazon card showed that he purchased a 13 inch dildo? Mm. <laughs> Wait, is that true? Okay, listen. I, listen. It is facts. His okay, card okay. was linked to his Twitter. He added a. 13 inch bra I can't I can't D the dildo bra I can't dildo to the Twitter <laughs> is that true yo Wait. yo yo come on yo, listen 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 so what do you think of that what do you think of that you think a nigga <laughs> in the closet gonna have his shit linked to his Twitter at I no. really think Meek is so dense he don't know what's going on like yo <laughs> okay my so man is going shopping for the free call. A, thir a 13 inch is a too big. He could have went like eight inches. Yo, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Have we ever seen that before? Yo, I could look at the screenshot. He even said after that, he said, yo, because some emergency. Like, he was calling out for help. Like, call the police. Because somebody tell me how to unlink my Amazon card from Twitter. Yo, bro, bro that's, that had to be a troll, bro. That nigga had no. to be troll, bro, because ain't no way that had to be a troll. That's too lined up, bro. That had bro, to bro, bro. a troll, bro. Bro, bro, you know this was no guy. AJ, AJ just said Meek never did any of that. Bro, it I, says... I was also telling... What, 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 what's oh, what's oh, AJ oh, saying? Way, what oh, nigga, like, people oh, on his account and shit? No, by the way, I want to be factually correct. The tweet says, I just purchased 10-inch... Super long, realistic <laughs> dildo for listen, a woman. Listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But it gets better. It was waterproof. You got to get it waterproof. Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, that that's a story we just keeps on giving. To be honest, P. Diddy, thank you. Thank you for the content because, brah, I, I don't know. I don't know. But leave it in the comment section. What do you guys think? Do you think Meek Mill, P. Diddy... Usher and Chris Brown were all having like a foursome and eating their booties out. I don't even know. I've never thought of so many gay people in one room doing all of that. That's that's too much. Too much for my imagination.